Hey guys, what's up? Um, excuse the face, it's about 5am in the morning. And yeah, my body just doesn't want to sleep. I've just given up now, so I thought stuff it, I'll just film this. Um, but yeah, so I am five months on tea, which is crazy. The last month's just gone by so fast. It's, yeah, absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, so basically, hair, um... I don't know if it's just, I don't know, but yeah, my head's getting really, really itchy. I don't know if it's just me or if it is a side effect of tea, I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's pretty itchy. Um, and I have put a lot more hair receding here. It's not too bad though. Um, and then my facial hair, if you can see, I have a definite mustache going, and under here there's a lot coming through. Um, I have, I went to see my, um, uh, transgender GP, like the one for all of my transgender stuff, and um, I just said, hey, look, I'm almost five months and I haven't had anything, and he goes, yeah, um, that's not too normal, I'm like, hey, um, would I be able to go on minoxidil, because I've seen a lot of other guys using it, and I really would like a beard, as you can see, it's pretty cool here, and like, I would really, really like a beard, and it's like, wait, so I've never really heard many guys using that, um, and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> but I'll give it a shot, and he's like, yeah, just let me know how it goes, I go to the, go to the chemist to buy it, it's $117 and it's not covered under PBS, so for us in Australia, it's like, it's medication subsidised by the government. So it's not covered by that, and I'm not paying $117 for that. So I got this, um, hair again stuff, which is about $88, which is a bit cheaper. And yeah, it basically just comes in a bottle like that, and you, um, yeah, you just, um... Yeah, you just like squeeze a mill onto your face and just rub it in each day and stuff like that. Um, so that's twice a day that you do that. Um, but I've been using that for about almost a month now. And I don't know how much of it is helping, but yeah, it's... I have like these little hairs here, there's like three hairs here. And they, they've just been always there since the moment I started tea, they've just always been there. Um, but yeah, so that's hair growth on my face. Um, I'm starting to get a lot, bit more hair growth on my arms. As you can see, yeah, acne is horrible. Especially on my back, but yeah, um, so I'm getting a bit of hair growth on my arms here, um, on my stomach and my chest as well. There is a lot more hair growth, um, even though I haven't had top surgery yet. There is, I think, give it, um, give it maybe a more another six months, and my chest will just be completely hairy. Didn't even know that was really possible, but I don't know. It's interesting, um, but yeah, especially on my stomach. And it grows really quickly too. Um, so yeah, that's that. Ex except around um, the top of my thighs, around like the inner on my thigh, there's nothing there. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably for the best. <laughs> um, it reduces the chafing quite a bit. Um, so yeah, my voice I think is still the same. If it's a bit deeper, it's probably just because it's early in the morning. Um, but yeah, nah, it's, I've noticed that I, I used to mumble a lot anyway before I started hormones and um, yeah, so I think I ha I've had to really sort of train myself how to talk again. Not like majorly, but just like adjust my speech patterns a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's all good. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so the hair on my arm, again, it keeps getting darker. Um, I'm waiting for the veins to come through, like in your arm, but you can't, I can't quite see them yet. So hopefully that'll happen soon-ish. Um, that's one change that I'm still quite excited for. Um, oh wow, yeah. I keep giving myself a haircut and I think I'm gonna have to give it and eventually go to a barber honestly because there's just this sort of meh. Um, what else is there? Um, honestly there's not too many changes this month, it's just all sort of moving on from last month. Um, yeah. I think that's honestly about it. Um, yeah. Honestly, I've been starting thinking a lot about top surgery because one of my mates just got it. And also, I'm having a lot of back problems from my binder. I just got a new one from Underworks about, uh, about a month and a half ago. Two months ago. And it's really, really tight. So I've got one that I wear to work. And then I've got one that I wear to like uni or when I go out with mates and stuff. And my new one is really, really tight. And honestly, my back's just killing me. Um, and I don't think the acne helps at all, like, um, I'm not too sure if you can see it, but, um, yeah, my back's just completely covered in acne, so it's, 
yeah, it's um, pretty annoying. But and also my face too. Um, I'm on. Um, I've got some pills. Hang on. So I'm on um, Dazoxylin or something like that. I don't know. That's what my GP just prescribed me. I was on. I've been on those for almost two months now and hasn't really done anything. And then I'm also on Duac, which is like a cream that you rub on. I'm only doing it on my face at the moment because, especially just here, it's really, really painful. Um, and I've just started to get some at the top of my head too, which I really wasn't hoping for, but you know. Um, so yeah, especially just here, it's painful. So I've just, um, I've just started that. I've been on that for about two weeks now. So I'm just hoping that that's gonna even out a bit because yeah, it's starting to get pretty painful. Um, oh yeah, just looking at it now, it's quite red. Um, but yeah, apart from that, honestly, I think that's all changes. Oh, bottom growth. I've noticed that that's, um, yeah, it's a lot. It's very, very sensitive. I've noticed that. Um, and also there's, um, what was it? Yeah, it's gone a bit. Um, okay, so this isn't probably a little bit too TMI or whatever. But, um, I, I went to see my GP about painful intercourse. And, um, she told me, I had no, I had no idea about this. I've never seen this anywhere. But, um, when I'm having penetrative sex, you need to lose, use lube. Like, your self-lubrication, it doesn't cut it because of the hormone, it, the inside is a lot thinner. So it's always, it could always be painful, um, which is something I wasn't too pleased to hear because the last couple of times have been. Um, but yeah, you have to use lube every time. And I had honestly no clue about that. So <laughs> yeah, that was interesting for sure to hear. So um, yeah, fun facts for all of you. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'll just do the voice comparison thingy now. And laughter of men that laugh and weep, of what may come hereafter for men that sow so to reap. I'm weary of days and hours, blowing, blowing buds of barren flowers, dreams and dreams and powers and everything but sleep. I'm weary of days and hours, blowing buds and barren flowers, those desires and dreams and powers and anything but sleep. And um, yeah, I'll just chuck up some pictures. Yeah, so it's, um, I'm just gonna do pre t um, one month and then this month, um, and just have a look, um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's not too much, just a short one this week. Yeah, um, yeah, just ignore this, I'm, I'm tired as hell. But yeah, um, so I hope you have a good one. Um, I got a new packer too, so I'll probably chuck a video up in a week after I've just worn it a bit more. Um, it's a, I think it's a real magic, I'm not a thousand percent sure, I can't quite remember. But, um, yeah, I'll chuck a video up in a week after I've just had a look at that a bit more. But yeah, anyway. Have a good one and I'll catch you next week. See ya.